The reason we're here tonight giving out this award is because here are some of the screen professionals who owe their career to Andrew Knight but couldn't be bothered turning up. Andrew Knight, congratulations. You once gave a man a job because he could do impressions of people that no one knew. I thank you for that. Have a great night. Hello, Andrew. Um, congratulations on the round and on for the award. I'm sorry I can't be there with you, uh, but as you can see, I'm very busy at the moment. Um, but uh, this award is great because not only is it a deserved uh, recognition of your work over many years, but also it gives me the opportunity to thank you very much um, because you were the first one to give me a job in sketch comedy as a writer and performer. Also, you were the first one to give me my first acting job in, in Sea Change, and uh, also you uh, gave me my first job running a telemovie. So um, you have been a mentor and a friend to me for many years, and the fact that many other people, hundreds of other people in the industry can say the same thing doesn't make it any less special. So um, I look forward to seeing what you're up to uh, in the next half of your career. Uh, that's not a metaphor, I was kind of just in the flush of the toilet. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome mentor, producer, and one of the greatest writers this industry has produced, the winner of the Actor Longford Lyle Award, Andrew Knight. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm not clever enough to improvise. That's a, the uh, bow tie that broke on the way here, if anyone wants it. Uh, thank you. Uh, and it's already collapsing. Uh, this almost makes up for me missing out on the Australia Day knighthood that I was expecting. <laughs> uh, clearly a disappointment, but I am uh, gobsmacked, honoured and humbled. Although the thrill of winning this award was diminished slightly by my daughter asking me whether it was like some kind of award for old farts. Uh, well, in my case, technically, yes, uh, but not in the case of any of my predecessors. Uh, Albert Brooks said, being a screenwriter is a little like being a eunuch at an orgy, only worse because at least the eunuch gets to watch. Uh, at my first ever rap party, my name actually wasn't even on the door. And I remember asking a bouncer if it would be all right if I came in. And I just remember him opening the door and yelling inside this thumping nightclub saying, is it okay if we let the writer in? <laughs> at which point I became a producer as well. Um, Tonight, I really feel like I've kicked the door in. Uh, the word career, uh, I don't know what it means. It's, uh, in my case, it's a meaningless appellation to justify half-assed ideas that at some time seemed enormously important to me. Some worked, others so bad that I would slip my, people money to leave the country when they're on. Um, the ones that have worked, well, I'm very aware that it's always been a collaboration with some amazingly talented people. Uh, not only great actors and directors, but in all areas. Uh, and I'm just scatting names here, but people like Marty McGrath, or Andrew Lesney, designers like Josephine Ford, Robbie Perkins, Chris Kennedy, and composers like Cesare Skubiskes. He's one of my closest friends, and I can't say his name. <laughs> Cesare Uh There is a thousand people I should uh, thank, but uh, I'm encouraged to believe that it's visually uninteresting to list a whole lot of names. Uh, I would, however, like to thank the following people that encouraged me very early on when it really mattered. Uh, Jeff Pollock, Jill Robb, the mellifluous Philip Adams, Max Dan, John Alsop, Noel Price, Gary Fenton, the remarkable John Clark, uh, the wonderful but ridiculously short uh, Deb Cox, and you're a genius, uh, the equally short Andrea Denham, Sue Masters, Des Monaghan, Bob Campbell, uh, Steve Weisard, 
the brilliant but oh so windy Ted Emery. And th uh, I'm thrilled to be able to thank you, Ted. And the always sexually appealing government funding bodies and networks. <laughs> Latterly, my thanks go to the uh, hirsutely challenged Ian Colley, uh, Andrew Anastasius, uh, Matt Cameron, and Peter Dun is it Duncan Peter or Peter Duncan? I can never remember. I can't remember. Um, uh, it is all your faults that I'm standing here making an idiot of myself, and I'm really grateful. And finally, to my beautiful family, uh, the wondrous Barnell. Thank you, darling. And to Dan, Izzy, and Ruby. Uh, thank you, and thank you to Acta. It is a great moment, maybe not for you, but certainly for me. <laughs> thank you. Piper Heidsick would like to congratulate the winner of the 2015 Actor Longford Lyle Award, Andrew Knight.